Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. If you're a subscriber, then welcome back. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Introducing the Ambient Lighting Edit Palette Universe. If you want to see how I got this look, then please stay tuned. And it's part of the Hourglass Holiday Collection. I ordered the two palettes, the Universe palette, which is the one I'm about to talk to you about today, and I picked up the Universe Unlocked palette. I'm getting that tomorrow, so you might be seeing me a little bit more often this week, purely because I think that you're gonna really love this collection. If you've been a follower of my channel, you know that I am a huge Hourglass fan. I actually started purchasing Hourglass about maybe eight years ago, so it has been a really long time and I've had a huge love affair with Hourglass. I know that there are some subscribers that just are diehard Hourglass fans and I am completely in awe of all the products that they bring out. So, when I found that this was being launched on the Space and K website, I immediately pressed buy and I had a £20 voucher which I had been saving, so I used that against this and I'm so glad that I did. They launch ambient lighting edits as part of their holiday collection every year and I have been buying them for the past seven or eight years <laughs> that I've been collecting Hourglass, so I have a lot of these in my collection and I'm just about to hit pan on a couple of them now because what I wanted to champion and say was that if you don't buy Hourglass or you haven't purchased Hourglass before, this is a product that you can use on the go, wherever you go, whenever you need a touch up, because it has everything in one palette. And when I show you how beautiful this is, you are going to love it. So let's have a look at what the palette looks like together. I have the Hourglass foundation on at the moment in the colour Honey, I'll put everything below. I also have their concealer in Dune. I haven't put their mascara on yet, but that will be my next step after I've completed the look. But let's have a look at this first. So as I mentioned, this product is something that they bring out at Christmas time every year and and everyone is always in anticipation as to what it's going to look like. So this one lasts for approximately 12 months. It says it's the ambient lighting edit in universe and it contains five colors there's a finishing powder which is the infinity powder so if you remember they bought out the infinity powder which i did a review on so number one which is the long one going down is the infinity powder by the sounds of it that they have bought out before so if you've not tried it you'll get to try it if you buy this number two is a strobe blush in vibrant heat Number three is a bronzer called Glistening Bronze Light. Number four is a blush, and that is in Luminous Rose. And number five is a strobe powder called Supernatural Strobe Light. So I just wanted to let you know that from what I have read on the website, four of these are new colours. So two, three, four, and five are brand new. Hence the reason I really wanted to pick this up. But also it was fun to have the Infinity Powder in there as well when I have the sort of larger size that I can have at home. This one I can carry all in one go if I'm going out somewhere. This retails at 79 pounds. So you get 1.4 grams of product in each small pan that's times four. And then in the larger pan, which is the infinity powder, you get four grams of product. So opening up together. So inside you get a how to use guide, which if you're not familiar with Hourglass, they do put in a lot of their products. And it tells you that number one is actually a finishing powder. So you apply that infinity powder all over the face. So what I would do is I would use the blush, the bronze, the highlight, and then I would then go in with the finishing powder once you're happy with everything. This is really great that they've got this in here because if you're not used to using the Universe Ambient Lighting Edit, then this is really gonna be helpful. First of all, can we just talk about the packaging? Oh my God, how stunning is that? It is like a light marbling effect. I don't know if you remember a few years ago, they had a white marble that I had to get a backup of because I really enjoyed it. 
This one is kind of got like pink running through it and it's absolutely gorgeous. What's really good at the back is also you get the squares and it tells you which one's which. But to be honest, when you open it up, first of all, let's admire this huge mirror. I'm just gonna show you like this, so I'm not showing it in the actual camera itself. But can you see how big that mirror is? And then you've got the powder, which is the infinity powder that I spoke about. You've got the blush. So number two is a strobe blush. So from what I'm aware, a strobe blush has sort of like a highlighter in one with the strobe so that is what you get and that's a brand new color and then you've got a brand new color below which is number four which is luminous rose this one here so you've got number three which is the bronzer in glistening bronze light and then you finally got the strobe powder underneath which is supernatural strobe light so that's more like a highlighter shade and then you've got more of a bronzer shade. What excites me most is the fact that these are four brand new colors. So I think the best thing to do is just show you this in full. Let's take a moment to admire how stunning this palette is. It is absolutely gorgeous. So just to say it one more time, the finishing powder is here. Then you get number two at the top, which is the strobe blush in vibrant heat. Underneath that, you have the blush in luminous rose. Then you have the bronzer, which is in glistening bronze light. And then you get the strobe powder in supernatural strobe light. These are the arm swatches of all of the colors. So if you can see, that's the bronzer. That is the pink blush and the kind of more rose blush the highlighter, and then the face powder. So those are the swatches, and I'll put the swatches that I've done outside for you as well, so you can see. So I just wanted to show you before I started, the different types of brushes that I have from Hourglass. I have quite a few, and the reason why I wanted to show you these brushes is because depending on the brush that you use, the finish will be different on your skin. So if you want an intense color, then you really need to use something that's quite dense. So if you want something to show up pretty sort of strong, then I would go with this brush. If you wanted something that was a little bit more sort of, uh, I suppose, lighter, then you've got a couple of other options. Now, this is the foundation brush but sometimes I like to use it for other things as well. This is actually the powder brush, but there is an ambient lighting edit brush. I couldn't find it for love nor money. I don't know where it's gone. The size of it is quite similar to this. So I thought we could use this side to demonstrate the colors on my face. And then we could just do a comparison perhaps with this, which is a bit more denser. This one is a good one as well, which you can use on sort of your skin if you just want it to be sort of a lighter, touch but I just wanted to show you those brushes before we started. I don't know about you but normally I like to go in with the bronzer and purely because it can just give me some definition on my face and then I'll know what to do when it comes to the blush. It's really really foolproof, it's really easy to use but it gives you the most beautiful finish. I'm going to delve in with my brush which is the one I said that's double sided but this one is a similar sort of shape or size to the smaller ambient lighting brush that I said that I had that I couldn't find. Let's start with the bronzer so I'm going to go in with my brush. The wonderful thing about the Hourglass palette as well is that they are all uniquely marbled so they don't ever look the same which is fantastic, very individual for everybody. I'm just going to go in now with the bronzer shade. So I don't know if you can see that appear. And remember that hourglass, that thing about being sort of glowing from within is what hourglass is about. And immediately, whenever I put on hourglass, I always feel like my skin looks more, I suppose, healthier and just has that beautiful natural glow. So, you know, when we're talking about bronzer, it's not a huge sort of, oh, wow, that's really strong. 
it's a really natural, natural finish. And we're gonna go in with the bronzer on the other side. And remember this is a brand new color. But I mean, I think you can see that anyway, it is showing up. Just always like to go in with the bronzer first. Perfect. Sometimes I just look a little bit there on my nose. So now we're going to explore the blush. I'd love to just go in with the bright colour, but I want to see what the colour below looks like first as well. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to take my denser brush because I want to see how pigmented the colour can be. So I'm going to go in with this one here and tap it in to that colour. And you can see the colour coming out there. And I'm just going to dab it in onto the apples of my cheeks. Well, that's very pretty. It almost reminds me a little bit of the Pat McGrath Desert Orchid because it's got like a blend. If you look very carefully, it's got this sort of orangey sort of blend to it with a really lovely complex blush. It's, it has dimension. So if I do that, I think you can see that come up. That's really nice. It makes me look more, more alive, which I love. And it's just very, very sort of natural and it just gives me that really gorgeous glow. Now that's just me using the denser brush. So bearing in mind if I used a more sheerer brush, I'd get a different finish. Now the next colour I want to explore is the more brighter pink colour at the top. And so because I've already got this other blush on and I'm using this mirror, which is huge, which is fantastic for size, I'm thinking about adding maybe that colour. So I'm going to use this again because I really want to see the pigmentation and then go in with the pink. Oh, you can see the pink straight away. And I'm just going to add a little bit on the apples of my cheek. Oh, yeah. This is the strobe blush, so it definitely has more of a strobing sort of highlight effect. So definitely if I just wanted to give my cheeks a little bit more of a pop. So as you can see, I'm building it, building it. Then what I like to do is I can take my brush where I want to just sheer it out so I can take that colour and just sheer it out. It doesn't necessarily have to be hugely strong. That's lovely. So I've just combined the two colors together, but you can use one on its own depending on your mood. That's why you've got two there to choose between. So, so far we've used the bronzer and the blushes. So I want to go into the sort of highlight shade now. So what I'm going to do is take this smaller brush and what I usually just do is go into that corner, which is that one there. And I'm just going to literally brush it where I would normally highlight, which is like the top of my cheeks. Just like that, and then usually where my brow is, and then Cupid's bow, top of my nose, just a little bit there. Lovely, very, very natural. And then what I'm going to do finally is just go into my Infinity Powder, and I'm just going to finish the whole look off. So I'm gonna go in with the fluffy brush that I've got, which I would probably use for like the powder from Hourglass that you would use normally, which I would use this for. And I'm literally just gonna pat. I generally just do my T-zone because that's where I tend to 
any kind of glow go come through my my T zone. Yeah, that is the look. This is the finished look, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I love the fact that it's just so easy to use and the colours are so complimentary. Now it's funny because I'd gone into the Space and K store and I wasn't going to get Universe, I was just going to get Unlocked because I felt like the pigmentation wouldn't show up but in fact it does show up on me and some days I don't really want sort of a strong look, I just want to look like I've got a nice glow and just kind of feel like I don't want too much makeup on and that's the thing with Hourglass it's one of those brands that you can just use every day and someone will point out to you and go you look really well and that's usually because you've got something like Hourglass on that gives you that sort of inner glow from within so so what I'm going to do now one of the things I like to do and to make this palette very versatile is I like to take the bronzer and I like to make it into a a colour for the eyes so I take that and I literally use it as a eyeshadow so I go in and I take the bronzer and use it as a eyeshadow and it's so versatile this palette you can use it for lots of different things So I've got my Sonia G favourite all-time brush, flat definer. Um, I generally go in to the bronzer and then I can just underline or line the eyes with the bronzer. Just like that. So that's what I love about Hourglass. The powder doesn't feel like it's sitting in my sort of face like in any kind of sort of creases or it doesn't sit it just looks makes you look like you're glowing and so what I love about that versatility is that like I said you can use this for an eyeshadow as well and a little trick that I also like to do is take like say for example the pink color and then I'll go in and I can just literally take it into like the crease of my eyelid and connect the two colours and it just kind of makes that eye pop and just blend the brown and the pink together and what's lovely is it is a really nice pink and so you can do quite a fair bit with it and as you can see already like it's really changing my face just adding that in so that's what I would do with this palette to finish the look I have got myself the hourglass scattered light in glitter eyeshadow in blaze and this is one of my favorite colors so I'm going to show you this I'm not sure if I've done a video on this but this is the most gorgeous color and I'm going to put that on top of my eyelids. I forgot to mention as well the material for this is like a tin so it's can you hear that it's like a tin material it really suits the aesthetics of what they're trying to do it's absolutely gorgeous so what I'm going to do is just take my finger so this is how I usually apply the scattered light take my ring finger and then I just go in I wish I was going out now <laughs> but I'm not sadly and I'm literally just taking scattered light and it's the most easiest thing to use in terms of like sort of glitter eyeshadow you hardly get any fallout if there's any fallout there isn't any really I mean I could just take that from there I find applying it with your finger better than using a brush because it just picks up the pigment better so that is that so I'm gonna just put some mascara off camera and a little bit of hourglass lipstick and I will be back with my final thoughts.
So I am back and I have returned with some additions to my face. I added Confessions Lip in At Dawn and then I added the Pure in the Velvet Story that I did a review on on top of this lip and it's gorgeous. They have these liners which I absolutely adore and they are the Mechanical Gel Eyeliners and this one is in the colour Canyon which is like a brown colour. And what's lovely is that you can really get in close to the eye line. There's just lots of angles and ways in which to get really close to your eyes, which I absolutely love. So this is one of my favorite ones that I use. I use the Hourglass Mascara. I absolutely love it. Gorgeous, stunning, beautiful. The packaging is beyond. It is so gorgeous. It is so easy to use as well. I love the fact that it had that instruction booklet in there. So if you're not familiar with the ambient edits, then this will help guide you. But for me, I've been buying them for so many years. I just go with what my gut tells me to do. So it's usually a brush goes in and then I go, right, I'm feeling this color today. I'm gonna to use this color or that color. And then what I love about this particular palette is that the bronzer is a really gorgeous bronze and there is a bolder colour with the pink strobe blush at the top which is gorgeous and then you've got that more cool toned blush as well which is lovely and the addition of the infinity powder. The infinity powder I know a lot of people were hoping for more with that and I do get that but I'm glad that it is a part of this so you can get to try it if you didn't try it when it was released. I can't wait to try Unlocked. Please look out for Unlocked. I will also do a comparison in terms of swatching the two side by side. I know I put some pictures up on my Instagram so please take a look at that as well. When I went into Space and K I did some swatching so you can see how it looks on my skin tone. Overall, I knew I wasn't going to be disappointed with this launch. They have also launched the Ambient Palette 3. I got the Ambient Palette 2 and I didn't pick it up purely because I think the colours looked a little bit too dark for me. I prefer the Ambient Palette 2, which they launched during lockdown. For my skin tone, it's better for me. I would be interested to hear and see how the number three is and I am dying to see how it's going to look and I'm sure hopefully Hourglass have nailed it and it will look gorgeous on a darker skin tone so I'm excited to see my fellow YouTubers who are going to be buying that and I'd like to see how that looks on their skin tone so I am really really impressed. I am never let down by the ambient lighting edits that they bring out every year and I don't think you will be too. So if you are of my sort of skin tone, I think you're gonna suit both palettes. You'll sit in between, I think. If you're darker skinned, then I'd probably go with Unlocked, purely because I can tell already when I was swatching them that the pigmentation would be better for a darker skin tone. So for the Universe palette, light to medium, for the Unlock palette, which I'm hoping to do a review as soon as I receive it, if you have a darker skin tone, then go with the Unlocked palette, and I don't think you can go wrong. So please let me know your thoughts. I really wanted to get this out for you today, so I will do my very best to edit and get this out for you. I'd love to hear your comments. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.